Good morning, everybody. My name is Michael J. Long, and um, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Today is July the 2nd of 2012. It's 3.21 p.m., and um, I want to welcome my viewers. And um, for those that have been seeing my videos, I uh, truly do appreciate the, the time that you took to watch my videos and stuff. And um, for those that know me, I'm... Um, I was born in uh, in New York State, and, I, and I'm a native New Yorker, and I'm currently visiting New York. And um, I've been visiting New York now for uh, and since 2004. But I was born in New York State, and you know, upstate New York, around the Capital Region area, and I've lived here in New York for. For the first 12 years of my life and I'm currently visiting here in New York um, I've been living in this town in the state of Texas Laredo Laredo Texas that is since 2002 so I've been there for quite a long time you know and but I've been visiting up here since in New York since um, 2004 so I'm um, but anyways um, I have a friend that lives down there in that town, and he exposed. And I commend him for the work that he does, for the videos that he makes. He's exposing the corrupt, the local corruption down there, and I and I commend him for it. There's a lot of corruption going on in that city. There's a lot of quite and quite frankly, there's a lot of corruption going on on the federal level. You see that they're installing street cameras on every street corners. You'll recall that they're putting trying to bring pe troops into the battlefields of the Middle East and trying to, we have bases all over the world, so you, world, so you can see the corruption. Now, now apparently he exposed this thing that I want to talk about where, um, where, um, where he was making this vid, where he showed this part where they had this um this this cop and he had his his door open and and the the woman there's a naked woman there well half naked or however you want to put it and um and she's and she's riding rubbing up against him while he's driving the doors open and all this stuff look this kind of corruption is not new to me and in fact there was an incident dating back a half a year or two ago where there was this young couple, these American couple, uh, a white lady by the name of Sarah and a, and a white guy and, and, and her children and stuff. I guess he was her husband or something. And um, so then she, after living there for a couple of months, she just decided to make a YouTube video to express herself about how 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 she thought how she thought that Laredo was dumb that the wimp you know that and she, I guess she must have touched on everyone's nerves and I haven't seen the video that's they showed a clip of it on Pro 8 News which is the local news station that deals with um Laredo Texas and, and a couple of the towns nearby and and uh they made it look like she was the bad lady and apparently what happened, she, she, I guess she touched a nerve. She may have uh, expressed herself on illegal immigration and how there were too many people going into that city from Mexico undocumented, how the people were just, how the, a lot of the men and women were disgusting and how a lot of garbage was going on and the corruption and all that stuff. And then the local politicians there took offense to that and said, well, you know, we represent a lot more than just that. Meanwhile, they got drones flying around in the sky on this so-called quote-unquote put to, to circumvent the spillover or to prevent the spillover of violence from across, from coming into the area. Meanwhile, they're letting people come in illegally by the millions, by the trillions. They're allowed to come into that city undocumented as undocumented immigrants and then they, they stay there to take refuge, to take shelter, and the city just completely shelters most of them. And they act like they're going to get rid of the criminal-minded ones, but a lot of them stay behind, serve, and then they're released. Sort of like all the other sanctuary cities that you find so often in San Francisco and so forth. 
Um, and anyways, they're talking about, I guess, half of Laredo decided, or at least a lot of the individuals, they may have been illegal aliens or people who were born in Laredo that had relatives that were there illegally, but apparently, I guess, they were making a lot of death threats and a lot of personal and death threats and calling her names and all this stuff just because she expressed herself and then she had to run, then she had to leave town. Because they were they were threatening to kill her and her family. Now I am all for internet freedom, no taxation, no regulations of the internet. But if someone's picking on you, you need to report it. And, and, and they could have saw these comments on videos and chose to prosecute these people that were you know wrongly express you know trying to threaten her, trying to bully her just because she expressed herself in the way that she's allowed to under the U.S. Constitution. And these guys called her names and ran her out of freaking town. And they didn't do it. And the local politicians in the police department, they did nothing about prosecuting the people that were calling her names and stuff. If anything, at least from what I'm aware of, if anything, they dismissed it. And this kind of stuff goes on on a daily basis. In that city, so that there's no doubt there's a lot of corruption in this that city. It does not surprise me at all. It is no more different than any other sanctuary city, and believe me, Laredo is a sanctuary city, but it's no more different than New York City or let's say Las Vegas or whatever. Um, but it's just to the it's just to the point where you know. If you're from New York State, or if you're from Ohio, if you're from Ohio, if you're from any particular state from the United States and you're white, well, guess what? You're not allowed to express yourself in that city unless you are willing to promote uh, and be nice and ah la di da, right? And that's what that's what we would take offense to um, if this sort of stuff were happening on the federal level. Okay, so and then the, and then the, and then and then he, let me tell you something about while this stuff is going on, they are refusing to combat illegal immigration to the highest possible level. Therefore, any local Laredo and that's living there from Laredo, Texas, that is, they don't get any jobs from this because the illegals are underbidding them, and if not, they're killing them and murdering them and slaughter them, slaughtering them and raping their families and all this stuff. Sound familiar? And then, and it's because the city officials refuse to legalize drugs. They refuse to combat illegal immigration. They refuse to legalize drugs and regulate it. They refuse to give everyone the right to bear arms. The three main essential ingredients in deterring future violence from the cartels and from a lot of the illegals. And they refuse to do it. They're saying, no, we're going to have a prohibition on drugs, and if you don't like it, too bad. No, we're going to allow illegal immigration, and they're going to be able to behave and do whatever they want. And while our cops run around recklessly on the individual Laredoans, half of them did nothing wrong. While we install street cameras on every street corner for no reason, and then we're going to say, well, it's just going to reduce crime, while they ha are taking no real common sense solution to deal with it. Now, I'm not saying, okay, throw out all the illegals. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying, though, is illegal immigration has to be dealt with at some point. You got to stop hiding all la di da And at some point, you got to legalize the drugs so you can regulate it so that you don't have the types of problems you have in the first place. And then you got to give everyone the right to bear arms. You got to have a backup in case the national grid goes down completely so that you have some form of communication so that people can contact the police and instead of freaking sitting there relying on national grid to freaking give you your power and stuff. Have generators. No, no, we're not going to do any of that. But then we're going to open our mouths about how Sarah shouldn't have done what she did. And we're going to make it specifically about that. And we're not going to talk about prosecuting anybody that made death threats. I say they ought to be prosecuted in front of a jury and a, and a judge. And the jury ought to decide their fate. And they ought to, you know, if anything, serve some time and know what it's like to be behind bars. So they don't do the kinds of things that they do. I mean, this is ridiculous what these what these low-life idiots that live in the city do. Now, 
you know, unlike Sarah, I'm not saying everybody's bad in that city. I got a lot of good friends in that city. But you know what? You want to be a lowlife and go after Michael Long because I'm exposing the truth. You may do so. You can come over to my house with your blow sticks and your freaking torches, lighted up torches. But you know what I'm going to do if I got a gun? I'm going to start shooting to defend myself if you really try to kill me. And it's so easy for me to buy a gun. Provided I follow the proper procedures. And it is so easy for me to call the police. So ain't nobody going to try to threaten me without some type of fight. Okay, I want to fight for my survival. Ain't nobody going to mess with me like that. And of course it would be the godly thing to do to move out of the city. But that's the thing. You know, people pick on you and then you move out of Laredo. Guess what? Then they might send a, uh, then they might pick on you some more and send hit teams out to try to kill you. So location changes, I see, it does, it does, it's not going to solve the problem. If these low-life idiots are going to do what they're going to do, what's to stop them from doing that to the next American that's going to move to their town? Okay, and to a message to any to these low-lives, let me tell you something. You may have been born and raised in Laredo. You might be an illegal alien in that city from Mexico or Canada or wherever you're from. But you know what? You don't own America. You do not own Laredo, Texas. You do not own Troy, New York. You do not own New York City, Albany, or any other city, town, or village in this country. You are therefore a resident and or documented immigrant. If you're an immigrant, if you're or a U.S. citizen, if you got citizenship or were born in this country. But you don't own it individually. I on your own. You're not the only one that lives in that city or in this country. So you better stop acting like you own this city, that city. You better stop acting like you own this country. It's it's tiring, okay? Let me tell you something. Everybody has the right to express themselves. And you ain't got no right to go after people who try to express themselves just because you disagree with their political point of views. And I'm sick and tired of these freaking low lives running around acting like they freaking know everything. I'm sick of it. And I may just move out of that freaking town. You know, but I don't think location change is ever going to change because what's to stop these bumbling idiots from moving to the next town and the next town? I mean, they're, you know, it's ridiculous. You look, you want to be a low life, that's your opinion. But eventually you're going to get caught. You're going to get locked up behind bars. You know what? And if you do this stuff in San Antonio, God of mercy on you, man. You know, because we'll be praying for your survival. And we just don't think you're going to make it in the prison system. There are, let me tell you something. There are a lot of people in the prison systems that are just as bad or even worse. Don't think that you're bigger and tougher than everybody. You don't get to bully people just because you have a slightly different political point of view. Okay? Now, I don't agree with half the stuff. My, I don't agree with some people. I don't agree with the left. I'm a conservative. But I don't attack them to the extent that they do to most people. Okay? I'm a respected young man. If anything, I'm either a conservative or a libertarian. But I don't go after people who have a different point of view to the extent that the low lives do. And there's low lives in all cities, towns, and villages. There's good and bad in all cities, towns, and villages. You know? In, in every city, town, and village in this country, in every state. So, you know... You know, but if you want to be a lowlife, you know, and run people out of town because you think it's your freaking town, I'm sending the message that it's not your town. It belongs to everybody that lives there. You don't get to bully anybody and tell them what to do. That is just plain wrong and garbage. And, and let me tell you something. These local politicians need to change their ways because that city is awfully corrupt. So, I'm Michael J. Long, and thank you for joining me. I appreciate it.